फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कनेक्टेड बाय नेट फोरम द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इस लेक्चर इज एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ ए गुड लैंग्वेज एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ ए गुड इनफैक्ट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो देर आर आई हैव लिस्टेड डाउन फाइव एट्रीब्यूट्स विच आर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट इन डिजाइनिंग ए पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड नॉर्मली द क्वेश्चन कम्स दैट वट डू यू मीन बाय अ गुड एट्रीब्यूट वट आर द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ गुड लैंग्वेज सो क्वेश्चन कम्स इन एनी वे द आइडिया इज दैट यू हैव टू राइट डाउन ऑल दीज फाइव पॉइंट्स एंड यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन दैम एज आई विल गोइंग टू टेल यू इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर एंड देन यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट इन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर फैशन एंड यू विल गेट इन फैट गुड मार्क्स फॉर द फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ गुड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज क्लैरिटी राइट सो what is the exact meaning of clarity and clarity means that whenever you write a program suppose uh, let's take an example so for clarity you have to give this example hash include stdu dot h integer min and uh, int a equal to 10 b equal to 20 c c equal to a plus b print f percentage d comma c right this is a short program and now the idea is that to explain you what is the concept of clarity here so clarity means that each and every line should is is properly ordered and every line is self explanatory means that when we don't use so many um, too much of recursion or uh, you know, too much of go to or um, label and uh, all of these type of uh, constructs which are depending on one and another and there some type of uh, wig will be there and uh, we don't able to grasp the correct idea of the program but here if you see that each and every line is properly ordered and very much clear that how we have to write the program and what are the specific inherit properties are easily replicated here now this is the header file this is the main function this these are two are the opening and closing braces this is a data type these are the are two variables which are initialized is inside the program and then c which is the output variable which will going to produce the output each and every line is very much clear so the concept is that clarity means when we have the clear step by step instructions given in the execution of a program so any language which produces step by step instruction of a particular program is said to be having a clear programming construct right a language which have step by step execution of the program are is said to be having the clear programming construct right this is the concept of clarity nothing special is there now next is simplicity simplicity again the same thing where simplicity doesn't uh, happen the simplicity doesn't happen where we use uh, two import two concepts the first one is backtracking and second one is recursion right there uh, these are these two are the vital enemies of uh, simplicity why backtracking because in backtracking we always uh, try to go towards the opposite direction and try to improve whatever we did or we try to make it uh, done for a number of times like uh, take an example of neural network when we talk about neural network and when we produce any output we found we find when we find that it is not up to the mark then what we do we go back to uh, the previous layers and update our weights update our weights and then we come forward produce the output check it compare the error if error reduces or get resolved then it's okay otherwise we again update our weights right so that is backtracking so that make the program very much complex when we have a clear programming construct and we are avoiding too much of backtracking or too much of recursion or too much of uh, dangling there and there that uh, has to be avoided and uh, that create a type of uh, hindrance in the concept of simplicity right no orthogonality this is a, a very much important concept and a, 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 people are normally get confused when we talk when they talk about the orthogonality orthogonality means when you have to write the orthogonality you just write in this way if a force is able let in the same program i will like to say first day i will uh, write a small code here if a equal to integer equal to suppose 2 and b equal to 3 let's say okay 
and if a plus b is greater than 10 right then print hello print f hello normally it happened that uh, no what happened that uh, i'm working on uh, uh, python also so in python we uh, they don't uh, have semicolon and uh, they have a different construct uh, construct in the here we use printf and they are they are using uh, print so that's why i got confused no problem with that so if a plus b is greater than 10 and uh, suppose it's a simple program it is it will going to print the hello because a to b is 3 it will be come when you compute it it will give 5 and 5 is uh, sorry uh, uh, i'm sorry if uh, b is less than 10 okay then uh, then it will be going to print the it will going to print the hello right so where is the orthogonality orthogonality means when we have expression you know when we have expression and statement in a same line right now this is a statement this is also a statement this is also a statement each and every line is a statement in itself when we have the expression this is the expression when we have expression and the statement in the same line then that language is said to be orthogonal right this is the concept this is the concept of orthogonality Right. So this particular concept is orthogonality. When we can, come, uh, when we have this is uh, here, what is going on here? Here they are also computing the decision. They are also computing the statement expression in the same very line, right? So when two particular things can be done at the same line, then that is known as the concept of orthogonality. Here in this particular line, condition is also getting checked. Computation is also there in one particular line. So when in one particular line two concepts combined, two concepts combined, that is known as orthogonality. Right? Next is naturalness of the language. Now to explain this, you just have to give two. You have just have to make two programs, two very very small programs. I'll going to tell you. First, you make a simple program of C addition. Second program, you just have to make suppose of uh, prolog. Now, what is the meaning of naturalness? Firstly, let's talk about. Naturalness means way of representing a particular program, uh, way of writing a particular program. What is the natural construct? What is the natural construction of a particular programming language? Like the natural construction of C programming language is entirely different. The natural concept of Python programming is entirely different. They all have different structures. The prolog has different structure. Right. So whether we talk about the uh, the the Haskell has different structure. So when we talk about either we type or we either we talk about the imperative programming or we talk about the functional programming, all have different type of programming constructs. Right. So how you have to answer the particular question? To answer particular question, you have just have to write that the the concept of naturalness means the way of representing a particular program or the way of writing a particular programming construct is known as the naturalness here we have seen let us take two programs there is one is c and another one is prolog right so in c you know how to write a particular program make a simple program of addition i'm not going to make a program here you just have to make make a simple program of addition right now now I will going to I will going to make a program of prolog and we will tell you that how this programming construct is being different from it. When you talk about prolog, we do logical programming, right? So where so logical programming is altogether have a different construct. Let us take that uh, we have to check the whether the query will going to work for a son and father relation. So if two persons have to be son and father relation, then it is very important that they both be male. So that's male Ram, male Sham dot is there, right? So they have to be male, and second one is there. Like another fact is there, father, and in father uh, we can say that Ram comma Sham. These are facts. Now let us, let us make a rule. So if uh, the son x comma y, x is the son of y. If 
एक्स इज मेल एंड वाई इज मेल एंड फादर वाई कॉमा एक्स इफ दीज रूल्स गेट सेटिस्फाइड देन वी कैन से दैट एक्स इज सन ऑफ वाई एज वी नो इन प्रोलॉग वी हैव डिस्कस दैट इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर अबाउट दी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोलॉग सो इफ यू राइट इफ यू चेक द सन राम कॉमा श्याम सॉरी सन श्याम कॉमा राम एंड यू प्रेस द एंटर यू विल गेट ट्रू राइट सो नाउ लुक एट दिस प्रोग्रामिंग रिप्रेजेंटेशन इट इज एंटायरली डिफरेंट सो दिस इज इट्स नेचुरलनेस ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज it is all together different type of construct if we have to mix the same program in c then we all have to do the hell lot of different things will going to be there whole programming construct will be changed so their naturalness is entirely different in that particular sense so if you make two different programs of the same construct of the same objective you will get different type of programming construct right so we have to keep this particular thing in mind also now then is suppose of expression support of abstraction means that in oops in object oriented programming language whenever we choose a particular language we have to keep this particular thing in mind that it set support for abstraction abstraction means that uh, let us take example of classes right there you have to give this example also when a question comes so for each and every one i have given this much more examples which you have to give in your question in your answer the next one is oops for oops you just have to write the syntax of class class a I am hoping that everyone is aware of oops. A private, then you have public, right? And then just make the void main of the class. And you do all this. There, and there we have functions known as member functions. There we have some variables, some functions also there, which you can access outside the program. So. Here, the con what is the concept of abstraction is there? There are some private variables, there are some public functions. These public functions can access these variables, but they cannot be accessed outside the class in the main function. Why? Because they are being abstracted or their information is being hidden. So these type of concept are going to be there in oops. So depending upon the choice of variables, depending upon the uh, depending upon your choice of constructs, suppose you are making a banking software. they are you can use oops very easily because there are some important variables like account number and all other important construct uh, account number the income detail the bank statement soa statement of account which you want to hide right so abstraction abstraction leads to information hiding information hiding this is the important line so whenever you choose a particular language you have to make sure that whether the concept of abstraction is fully achieved and all oops programming languages whether you talk about java java is a pure object oriented programming language java c++ in fact python python has also a big uh, rich library of c classes c++ uh, that uh, classes and uh, in my python tutorial which are which are also available in uh, this uh, in net forum uh, very soon we will going to touch the concept of c uh, this uh, classes and then we will going to touch the concepts of queues and uh, trees and the, all other different about data structures we are going to discuss in python programming but that is all together different part but the concept of oops is very much important whenever you choose a particular language you choose a particular concept then you have to be very very very, very much specific that what are the need of your program what is the need of your software we have need this particular language right depending upon that particular choice you should make the decisions how and which uh, which language you have to choose suppose you want to work for networking you go for java you want to work for business analytics you can go for java as well for python right so if you want to do system programming you can go for c++ sorry c c++ right so depending upon the type of needs you want you want if you want to do logic programming you can go for prolog so depending upon the needs you choose your language and you choose your language depending upon these important attributes right so i hope you like this lecture if you like this lecture then please subscribe my channel and uh, stay with me for 
नेक्स्ट फोर्थ कमिंग लेक्चर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच